Good evening. I'm Bernardo Forbrescia. I'm the architect for Area on the Bay, which will sit on an amazing site right on Biscayne Bay and on a beautiful park, so close to downtown and to the Performing Arts Center, the museums, and all the cultural life of our city today. I've been working on this for some time now with the Mello family, who are fantastic people to work with. My firm is actually not just the architect, we're also doing the interior design, the landscape architecture. It is fantastic when you can have a unified vision for all the components of a building, and this is what this building is about. This integrated approach to design gives us a unique opportunity to make a stamp in this great new district, in this emerging cultural hub of Miami. When you start sketching, you start looking at metaphors and start looking at ideas and shapes that you love. And um, we love the ocean. And when you go to the beach, you see how the waves hit the sand. They create this series of scallop shapes along the, along the beach. When you look out to the water, you see the wave crests on a windy day and how they form this sort of interesting break of the undulation of the waves. When I looked at this building and its position on the water, I thought of those shapes and how they could become almost a painting of that beach scene and of that geometry on the beach. But I also thought how I can make it three-dimensional. And, uh, and I recalled the great opera houses in Europe, in Berlin, in Vienna, in Paris, in Milano, and how in many of them, there are the series of curving balconies that project into the space of the opera house and allow those in those balconies to feel they're in the middle of the space and have a privileged view of the stage and the scene. And thinking of this building and its setting on Biscayne Bay, I thought of the same. Imagine that these curving balconies are flying out into space, and you have that view of our own scenery, of our own theater stage, which is Biscayne Bay. And that sort of pulled it together, the confluence of the organic shapes of our coastline and the geometry of the great opera houses. And I thought that really would create a unique building. So Aria is the result of this dream. And that is why the building looks like you see it in these images. And that theory of form is carried into the arrival space, into the lobby, into the interiors, into the landscape. It all comes together as one big idea. I hope you enjoy the rest of the evening and get to learn more about Ariane the Bay.